everyone, this is Campaign Cody, and today I'll be showing you how to make nuclear bombs in vanilla Minecraft. So you'll have to be in creative for this, and you're going to have to summon some fireballs. So, when you summon a fireball, you can just summon a normal one, or you can type this in here. So fireball, little thing, little thing, little thing, and then all of that what's in the parentheses. Now you're going to want to copy that exact. Just take a good look at it. Maybe write it down there. Maybe pause the video just for a sec. Alright, you got it? Good. So the only thing you want to change is the last number here where it says explosion power. Now, one is just a normal gas explosion power. It's the same thing as a normal gas fireball. 4 is the power of TNT, and then up from there is, well, as powerful as you want it to become. So you can have it as 40, 400, 400,000, you can have it literally as powerful as you want. But be very careful with that because it can corrupt your world if it's too powerful and you can run out of memory. A lot of problems can come into play if you make it too powerful. But the option is there. So, JL2579 actually showed this off in one of his recent videos where he made one of these powerful enough to blow up bedrock. So that's pretty crazy and I highly suggest you check it out. It'll be in the description below. But just for a normal demonstration here, a gas fireball with the power of 1, so this is just a normal gas fireball, and I don't know why it's doing that, but the explosion, it's about like that. No big deal, tiny little thing. Now when it's the power of 4, that is a normal TNT, let's fire it down. Okay, normal TNT. It also makes a fire around everywhere, which is really cool. And finally, let's check out 40. So here we go. Now it lags a little bit, and there we go. Pretty crazy. But I'm going to show you how far we can push this. My computer, I have tried it out. I can get to about a 1,000 before my actual game just completely dies. So let's fire one at a mountain here. So you go slash summon. And once you type it in, you can hit the down arrow key, or the up arrow key, and you can get back to the original thing you typed in, so you don't have to type the whole thing out every time. So let's make one that's 400 explosive power. And let's see how this goes. Bye-bye, Mountain. Now, you don't hear anything yet, but if you press F3, the memory should be going up at least a little bit and causing quite a bit of lag. My FPS just died and once you hear the little explosion sound you know you're all good but before then you may crash so be careful. Okay so I think it's loaded in now. Let's try and get close. Oh it's so laggy. But yeah that is a gassed fireball with the explosive power of 400 completely decimated this mountain here. So that is pretty insane. Also, the fire goes out for quite a distance. Uh, you can't really see it from here, but if we fly around a bit, we may see some of the shock waves. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So the shock waves go pretty far. It actually has taken out this forest here, or jungle, sorry. So these are pretty devastating. So now that we know how this works, let's blow up something a little more unique. Okay everyone, so this is a city I made in Minecraft. I made it quite a while ago and I just got the map file. So it's easily replaceable and it looks like a lot of fun to blow up. Don't you think? I think so. So let's make a fireball Hmm, let's think here. With the power of 350, I think we'll be okay. 
Yeah, let's try that. All right, and let's fire it right down into there, right at the city core, and see what happens. Okay, the explosion's rendering in here. It already looks to be quite devastating. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it made my building into Swiss cheese. And this building's just gone. The whole thing is just gone. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, that's cool. So now that I've shown you how to work this, Go ahead into your own worlds, download some crazy worlds, and just blow them all up. This is a lot of fun. Be careful with how powerful you make these fireballs, because you don't want to corrupt your worlds. But go have some fun with it. It's a great time, and thank you for watching. Have a great day.